It's on. Hello. Oh, now it's on. <laughs> See, I love your voice. You've got that, like, moody. Thank you. This is actually my, my real voice. <laughs> the baby voice died. <laughs> So let's, first of all, let me say, congratulations, man, 20 fragrances. That is insane. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's pretty unbelievable. I, as a little girl, I always wanted to have my own perfume. And now that I have 20, it's just, it's crazy. It's a dream come true. I feel so lucky. How did you develop this one? Let's start with Gold Rush. Well, Gold Rush, I wanted, to, with the bottle, I just wanted something that was very sexy. I feel like it's a really sexy bottle. And I wanted it to be something romantic and evolve with me. I feel like I've really grown up and I want my fragrances to as, as well evolve with me as well. And um, this is the first time we got to use a uh, male model in the campaign, which was oh, the most fun Oh, I'm so sorry, part. that's a hardship. It was really fun picking the guy out. Um, uh, that was my favorite part. Um, yeah, and it's, it smells beautiful, and um, I'm so excited with the response we're getting from it. What's the development process like when you get to fragrance number 20? Um, well, I've been in this business now making perfumes for 11 years, and um, it's a process. You know, obviously coming up with the scents, picking the right notes, designing the bottle, coming up with a name, picking the campaign, what I'm going to wear. Um, so it's, it's a long process, but it's definitely worth it. This lady, by the way, is, shall we say, one of the hardest working people I've ever met. Thank you. Do you ever get a day off? Not really. I haven't had a day off in a very long time. But it sounds like you love it. I love it. I really do. I'm an Aquarius. I'm a create creative person. Success is something that really fulfills me in life. So, um, yeah, I, don't, I love it. I'm a workaholic. How do you define success today versus when you were starting out? I think success is all about what makes you happy and bringing others happiness. And um, that's another reason why, you know, during the day I'm a businesswoman, but I also like to optimize my time. So if I'm going to fly halfway across the world, I'm also going to make the most out of my time. And the great thing at night is that I get to DJ at the best clubs in whatever country I'm in and entertain all my fans, throw them an incredible party, just see everyone smiling and dancing and having the time of their life. And um, I think success is like bringing other people happiness that makes me feel happy. So talk to me about going into business meetings. What is that like for you? Um, I think I definitely surprise a lot of people because when I, you know, walk throw out phrases like optimize my time. <laughs> yeah, that and uh, I think when, you know, when I walk in a room, people are expecting, oh, Paris Hilton's walking in this, you know, dumb blonde and they're, expecting me to not know what I'm talking about. Um, but then when I'm in the boardroom and I'm actually going through everything, I can see the look on a lot of people's faces and it really is surprising to them. And I love proving people wrong, so um, it's always a great feeling. Well, because you have real estate holdings, you have stores, you have a fashion line, you obviously DJ, so are people shocked when you start reeling off numbers and percentages and your openings in Dubai and the fact that you're expanding in India, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera? Yes, definitely. I think um, a lot of people, if they don't know, you know what I do as a businesswoman, they were introduced to me on The Simple Life where I was playing a character. So a lot of people, if they don't know about everything else, they just assume only that. Um, so it's, it's nice to uh, show that I... Do a lot more than you do a play lot more. a dumb blonde. <laughs> do you remember what it was like when you were launching your first fragrance? Um, well, it was 11 years ago, and um, it was actually the first product I ever launched. I now have 17 different product lines. And um, it was an exciting time. I just remember the, getting the bottle for the first time, going to Macy's. We had a huge opening, had, like thousands of people there. And it was just one of the most exciting days of my life. And um, just seeing all my fans and talking to everybody and just, it's a really great feeling. Just, I love meeting people personally and just hearing what they have to say or if someone gives me a letter, just my fans really mean so, so much to me. And they're one of the big reasons that I work so hard because I love to see them and to make them happy. Now, how do you see your business growing and expanding? 
Um, well, it's continuing to grow all the time. Um, I have 50 Paris Hilton stores around the world, and we're going to be opening up 200 more in China within the next two years. Um, I just well, wait, let me backtrack. You're going to be opening up 200 more. Yes. Do you understand the scope of that? I mean, you, you say that so casually, like, oh, I'm going to go to Pret and get a sandwich for lunch. Like, that's literally how you're saying that. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's yeah. massive. That's huge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so, yes, that. And um, as well as I'm getting involved in the tech world. I'm doing a lot of exciting projects in the virtual reality, reality space. And um, like really, what? Can you talk about it? Um, is my microphone still working? Yes. It's working. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, they're actually um, a little bit top secret, but they're very exciting, innovative, and um, just mind blowing, actually. Really exciting. I was actually just in China uh, having some meetings over there and the technology over there is insane with what they're doing in the VR world, and it's mind-blowing. How do you stay abreast of what's happening? I mean, do you read business magazines? Do you have a slew of advisors that tell you, like, this is a company you should be looking at? This is, a, you know, an inventor. Is that even a word anymore? That's so, like, low, <laughs> like low tech. But you know what I mean. Like, some creative person that you need to be uh, focusing on. I am actually a huge undercover nerd. A lot of people don't know that about me, but I had no idea. I am. I'm a huge tech geek. I'm obsessed with anything to do with technology. And I always love to feed my mind with everything. And another thing I love going on, obviously AOL. <laughs> Hello. And I love Flipboard. I think it's a great app because it, it picks out every single category of what I'm interested in. So I'm always on there every day reading everything. And I follow, I read everything. I really like to stay on top of what's going on. I can't believe that you're a tech nerd. That's so. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm a proud tech nerd. Yeah. As you should be. Mm -hmm. Do you remember what first drove you to start your own business? Uh, because you easily could have just not done that. Yes, and I've you know growing up, um, you know where I have been seeing a lot of my friends who are in that position where they come from a, a family where they're privileged. I see them and they. They don't do anything. They basically just ask their mom and dad for money. And, you know, I just could never see myself doing that. So ever since I was a teenager, I said, I really want to build my own business. I want to make a name for myself. I don't want to be known as Paris Hilton, you know, the Hilton Hotel granddaughter. I want to be known as Paris and build my own name. Um, and I think growing up watching my father, my grandfather, who are such incredible businessmen, and having mentors like that really shape the woman I am today. And um, I think it's just something that runs through my blood. I just, I love to work hard and create things. And um, I don't know, I, I, I could never just sit there and just be one of those people who just was like a trust fund baby. I just, I don't know, I don't really have res much respect for people like that. Where do you think your work ethic comes from? Um, I get it from my grandfather. You know, he really worked hard, my grandfather and my great-grandfather, to build their empire, and um, I think I get it from them. Now, do you ever get a day off, considering that you travel 300 days a year? Um, my days off are spent um, on the plane flying, like when I go to Dubai. I love long flights, because <laughs> it's the only time I get to sleep or relax. So I feel like a day off for me is basically on a plane which doesn't really seem like that interesting of a day off, but um, with my schedule, that's what I have to do. What's been the biggest challenge for you so far in growing your brand? Um, just that there's so many things going on, so it's a, it's a lot of work and it's a lot to keep a handle on. Uh, the you mean lag. like all the different, all your different launches, businesses, where everything's happening, logistical stuff? Exactly. I feel like I really need to create like three different clones of me and just have three of us just going around the world doing all these jobs because it is hard for one person. So sometimes I joke around with people and say there is a couple of me around. You want to do like an orphan black type situation? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to create one. Or a robot. <laughs> What kind of boss are you? I am a great boss because I love my team. Everyone really works hard with me. I really respect everybody. But I also 
want to make sure things get done. So, um, you know, when it comes down to getting things done, I am going to be stern and strict, but I'm very really? sweet about it. Yes, but I don't yell at any, but I never yell or anything like that. I'm very sweet. <laughs> So you may be a tech nerd. I am a total beauty nerd and fragrance nerd. So for those of you who have not smelled this, it smells amazing. We were geeking out over it in the green room. But how do you see your be the beauty side of your business growing? Um, well, we actually are releasing the men's, the Gold Rush for Men uh, cologne next month. So that will be out for all the boys. And um, also I have my own skincare line that I have developed and it's anti-aging with stem cells. It's, um, I'm obsessed with skincare. Um, I've actually, I'm all natural. I've never done anything in my life. I just take really good care of my skin, stay out of the sun. Um, and also my makeup line, which I just launched as well, because I love beauty products as well. Right? Too. Aren't they the most fun part yes. of having your own company? It really is. I love it. I just came out with my new nail polish line, my new eyelashes line, the new makeup line is... Just so the packaging, the colors. Um, we had it all delivered to me yesterday, all the new samples, and I was really excited opening everything. Were you just totally like losing it? Yes. <laughs> How did you develop it? And I know that you said before that it's growing up seeing your mom's vanity and her fragrances and her makeup that g gave you this love of beauty. Yes. Every girl does. I just always, you know, have loved beauty products. I think. Perfumes especially, I think it's one of your best accessories because it's something that people are going to remember you by. It puts you in a great mood and it attracts people. And I have pheromones in some of my fragrances as well and the guys love it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Who's your fragrance tester? Who do you, I mean, who do you test it out on to see if the response is what you want it to be? Um, well, every time I'm developing a new one, I will pick up about four or five of my favorites, and then I will always go to my mother first because she's just everything my mom says I always trust, and then my sister, and then all my girlfriends, and then I kind of like have everyone vote. I mostly come up with a decision on my own, but I like to hear feedback from everybody. Who's been your most trusted advisor as you've been coming up? My, my father, I really, really respect him as a businessman and I trust him so much. And especially being in Hollywood, it's very hard to trust certain people. So I'm very lucky that I have such a supportive family and an amazing support system in my parents. And um, yeah, I'm very lucky to have them. And my mom and dad have been together since they're teenagers, which is also very rare, especially coming from Los Angeles. So it's really nice to have that support system. So when you guys have dinner, do you talk about all the different businesses? Yes, we do. And with my grandfather as well. And he's so cute. He's like, he's Paris. He's like, literally, I'm friends with every CEO. He's like, you travel and work harder than any CEO I've ever met in my life. And hearing that from my grandfather, who I look up to so much, was one of the biggest compliments I've ever had. That is really cool, because your grandfather has achieved so much. Thank I you. mean, you guys have heard of Hilton Hotels, right? So, I... <laughs> <laughs> what would be your crowning achievement, do you think? Um, definitely the, the brand that I've built, because I've done this all on my own. I have not accepted anything from my family since I was a teenager. Since I was 17, I've been working. And um, just doing this all on my own is such an incredible feeling. I feel very proud and independent and that I will never have to ever depend on anyone else but myself. I think that is absolutely incredible. Congratulations. Thank you. Seriously. Thank you. Oh, I love it here. I love the energy in this room. <laughs> but I want to go back to that for a second. When you were a teenager, what made you want to do this on your own? Um, well, actually, when I was a teenager, I've always been a huge animal lover, and I wanted to be a veterinarian. And then I realized you have to give them shots and put them to sleep and give them surgery. And I was like, you know, no, I don't like that anymore. <laughs> I'll just, I'll just, you know, I'll buy some animals. Um, 
and then um, I moved to New York City. And before that, I was a complete tomboy. Like, I didn't really care about wearing dresses. I didn't wear makeup. My parents were very strict. I wasn't even allowed to go on a date or a school dance, nothing. And then I moved to New York when I was 16. And then all of a sudden, my sister and I were, you know, the new sisters in town and getting invites to all these nightclubs and parties and all these events. And then all of a sudden, I was pushed into this completely different world that I had no idea about because I was always so sheltered as a teenager growing up. And um, all of a sudden, I just wanted to be a businesswoman. I started thinking, oh, I want to develop a fragrance. So since I was 16, I've been planning this. And um, I can't believe how it is now. It's just, it's crazy to me. Do you come up with a list of goals every year? Every day. Every, every day, day, really? Every day I, stri I strive and I work hard and I'm, I, I never stop thinking. I'm always, my mind is always moving and I'm always thinking of something new and I love what I do. I just, I, I get bored. I can't just sit and do nothing. What would be your definition of total success, of really making it? happiness and you know finding true love and having a family one day I would really love that because I feel like in my professional life in my business life I feel like I really have achieved you know as much as I can and I, I can will continue doing it but I would love one day to just find a man that I could really trust and give my life to and you know be with forever and find my soulmate and have children and and I'm just looking at my sister and her baby, and I was holding her, and I just was literally crying of happiness for her. I'm just looking at her and how much it's changed her. And I think that is true success when you have a family and a baby. I don't know. I think that's just really something nice. But Some, someone that you can leave this to. Yeah, but um, I don't know. Too busy for that right now. <laughs> And I'm single, and I love it, so. <laughs> but one day. One day. And now to our audience, please. Hi. I'm over here. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Um, I was wondering, what qualities do you look for in people who work for you and people who work with you and people who you collaborate with? I like to work with people who are creative, who are hardworking, dedicated, people that I could trust, somebody that I know will always have my back, um, people who are innovative and you know, aren't, aren't afraid to say things. And if they think that I'm saying something wrong or not doing something wrong, they're gonna tell me. I don't like people who are just yes people and will just say things just to you know, be like a butt kisser. You know what I mean? I want someone who's gonna tell me the truth and who's going to be there and help build the brand and work with me in the right way and someone who I have a good vibe with. I have a very good intuition with people nowadays. I used to be a little bit naive growing up, but I've been through so much now that I can read people very fast. I was actually gonna ask you like, whether you absolutely have a gut feeling when you meet someone. Now I do. Before, I just trusted everybody, and I was very just naive and just thought you know, everybody's good. And, um, after going through so much in life, I've realized that not everybody is good. And a lot of people have good intentions, and then some people have bad ones. Um, so I've kind of built like this psychic intuition, I guess, where I could just look in someone's eyes or feel them, and I feel the vibe right away, which is something that I'm really happy that I finally figured out. That's actually really helpful to have, especially in what you do. Yes, for sure. Next question, please. Hey, Paris, you're such a role model. I want to know if there's anything in the perfume process or in your everyday life you wish you could replace with technology. Hmm. I'm thinking about that. Um, let's see. I think it would be... That's actually cool to do something with technology with a perfume. Maybe a perfume iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> Or something, um, I don't know, that's, that's a really good idea, actually. I'm gonna think about that more because I want to do something, a technology with, actually, something that lights up and could be like a radar if someone's bad or good. 
All right, well, I'm going to put my thinking cap on, but thank you. On your next flight to Dubai, I, I like, yes. you can think about this. And last question, please. I love that. Hi, Paris. Um, oh, sorry. Hi, babe. Hi. How are you? <laughs> um, you've accomplished so much over the years, but like, what would be the number one coolest thing you think you've ever done? Or like top three? The number one. Um, I've had such a fun, amazing life, I think. The number one thing was doing The Simple Life. I had so much fun doing that show. And even though it did, you know, a lot of people have misconceptions about me and think that's really who I am in life, I wouldn't trade it for the world because I had such a great time traveling around the world with my best friend, doing all these crazy jobs and experiences that I would never get to experience in life. And I know that show has brought so much happiness to people. And even to this day, people are always coming up to me saying how funny it is and how much they laugh. And they'll just say lines from the show. And it just I, that's something I'll always get to watch for the rest of my life for when I have children one day. So I think The Simple Life, because it kind of introduced me to the world. Well, and Gold Rush is out now. Yes. Your fragrance. Mm -hmm. And thank you so much for being here, Paris. Thank you.